On the far outreaches of Sector 53 Abbott, word spreads of a possible Xenos breach on the docile Shrine world. Without hesitation, a combat patrol was issued orders by the Bloody Rose, which hastily arrived on site to the desirable Shrine location. A steel-clad rhino worked its way up the field, loaded with a unit of fresh novitiates to investigate and secure the potential hostile grounds. A squad of the remaining veteran sisters consecrate the surrounding areas before pushing forward to the other forgotten sites. Just on the outskirts, hunkered down in a large room temple, an outfit of orcs lie waiting to strike an ambush on the scouting sisters. Just out of sight of the combat patrol, the sisters advance to the next ruins, while the escorting wall suits scan the horizon with the pain from the internal radars. With the returning ring alerting the sisters, their scanners broadcast a large force just ahead of them. Quickly the orcs charged in, like a breaking levee, the flood of green warriors led by a pack of beast snaggers. Hold on a minute. That ain't how I remember it. It was more along the lines of... Now it was just me and the boys looking for a good crumping. And then you can tell which one's me by my snazzy shiny hat right in the front right there. Big Boss gave us orders to collect some scrap from this dung heap that them humans call shrine. <laughs> Don't look much of nothing if you ask me. So there we were, gripping our choppers and shooters, when the bolts let out a blood curtain yell. We started blasting and charging at that red rig, while the Gretchen in the back supported the boys with some artillery fire. Uh, lots of scrap on that one. What they should have been focusing on was the big stomping suits. But we'll get to that. The beasties got their first plowing through the front while me and the boys smashed through the walls. <laughs> Surprise, ladies! There was enough of us to tear the scrap off of it till it was nothing. And that's what we did, filling it with holes from our shooters and cleaving off sheets of scrap with our choppers. Behind us, the big ball started unloading round after round into the red mechs, while me and me crew plugged our shooters in them holes that we just made and scared them little humies out of the rig. <laughs> There must have been thousands of them pulling out of their transport, yelling and screaming about heresy or something. They started cutting down on me snuggers. They started cutting down the boys. But we was just a diversion. See, the boss, Gordon Ramsay, was cunning like Mork. He knew to send some burner boys. <laughs> around the side to stop any more of them girls from advancing any further. Once their rig was down, we turned to them screaming girls. With me lucky hat still on me head, it was time to cut into some human flesh. <laughs> While we was crumping, Chucky e. Cheese was taking care of them vending machines. Before them stupid, stomping mechs blasted them away. The BBQs made quick work of them girls, flaming up anything that moved. <laughs> Meanwhile, pack of them scared ones said some prayers to their dumb Yumi God. They knew they was in trouble, hearing our boys roasting up some human bacon. <laughs> I got to admit, them yelling ladies can put up quite a fight. The one with the big glowing chopper was putting some work into the BBQ, putting an end to our fun. But we was doing the same to them, cutting down the last of the girls. 
comes from that scrap heap. This here's all scrap, and no human gonna take it from us. Uh, not even if they think it's holy or special. But we got carried away. Remember them red stompers? Take uh, up to a war boss, Gordon. We was on our way, but it was too late. They chopped them down. It was a sight to see. Gordon was sewing up some spicy parries before they plucked him. With the war boss down, it was time to scoop up the scrap and get out of there. One thing I noticed, and the boys saw too, Gordon wasn't wearing his white hat. And here I am, with a gob of scrap in me arms and me lucky hat on me head. <sighs> Till next time, ladies. It was a good crumping. <laughs>